um, maybe give you confidence that, hey, you're doing it right, or, you know, this is another approach to it. So um, I put all of these materials onto the, uh, the Canvas faculty site. Most of you, I think, have access to that. Um, it might not be showing up on your dashboard, and if it's not, all you need to do is go to Courses, and then go to All Courses, and you should be able to add a star to it, or click on the star, the and then... Faculty area? Um, yeah, it's actually called Faculty Area, yes. So, yep, you're going to go to Courses, and then All Courses, no worries. And then if it's starred, it's going to show up on your dashboard. If it's not starred, it's not. And you're going to see all your, some of you will have quite a few courses here. Yeah, that's good, right? <laughs> and once you star that, um, it should be on your dashboard if you click on dashboard. Um, if you need to do a refresh, um, in some cases that helps as well. But um, if you hadn't noticed, you can also now add images to your tiles. Um, and I just saw a tweet from Canvas that said that some people are adding, I don't want to say it wrong, GIFs, GIFs, GIF, GIF, to theirs. So like you can actually like put little, like they look like videos, only there are technically images, just images that are animated. Um, so you can kind of have some fun with that. Um, it, course yeah, so I'll just go to the faculty area because i got to go there anyways. And if you go to the settings, right at the top here, we enabled it. So if you go down to, see, so you'll have to go to one of your courses. Oh, I have to go to one That you're actually, you have to be an instructor in it or a teacher in it in order to, to adjust that. Um, and then you go to your settings, and then right at the top is image. Um, I would recommend, uh, as far as selecting an image, making sure that the majority of the image is at the top, or at least what you want them to see. Because if we go back to the dashboard, you'll see that what's displayed is the upper half of the image. Okay, And there's more image down here. It's just being covered up. So that's a little tip or trick. Um, if you have an image and you just can't get it to work for you, send it to me and I'll throw it in Photoshop and adjust it and shoot it right back to you. Um, this isn't a huge deal, but it's kind of more about the branding of the course, if that's something that you're uh, interested in um, or like to do. Um, students can start associating. Uh, you can do this by department. You can do this by individual courses. Um, totally up to you. It's not something that we put a lot of thought into at this point because it is relatively new and it's relatively new from Canvas as well. Um, so just something that I thought was kind of interesting to spruce up instead of just colors every time. We still have the colors there, though. So um, that is that. I'm going to head back into the faculty area. Uh, one thing that I do want to point out before I get down to talking about the grade book itself is I am trying to put to use this faculty site and make it a resource. Obviously, uh, if you visited it and gone to the modules, you can see that there's a lot of things on there already. Um, but even from my perspective, it doesn't have a lot of organization. Uh, it's, it's tough to follow. You don't know what you're looking for. Um, and so I'm trying to figure out what the best approach to it is. So um, I kind of stumbled upon this idea where you, if you go to the faculty page, the home page is set with this quick help. Um, so this is what you're going to get brought into. And it's my, my thought that I will add sort of like we have seen like we see set up in uh, in one login kind of the same idea but you can go here for help items so if you're not sure how to set up your profile uh, in starfish you click on the starfish it will open in a new tab and now you'll have different help topic tiles that you can click on so I don't know anything about starfish where do I begin well I have it so they open a new tile so you can always or tabs so you can always go back here um, there's canvas help topics as well. Uh, you will eventually have access to it. The tiles will be this size. I know that they seem kind of small, but up close they'll be a lot easier to read. Uh, and hopefully that will provide some organization rather than just going to a module and saying, I need help in Canvas, where do I go? And this can be a little bit confusing as you see all these different modules um, and all these different line items and things like that. So um, by all means, if you have questions, if you have concerns, if you have ideas, 
I'm always open for those. Don't think that you're like trying to tell me how to do my job because my job exists to help you. And if I can apply it better to how you will use it, obviously that will help us both out. And um, so I'm very open to that. So that's that right there. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know.